the day we're gonna show you the new Sierra Downcountry Tire. The Sierra is absolutely designed for a mix of terrain. Fast dirt roads, slippery routes, big rowdy rock sections. The Sierra is just a click more than cross country and it comes down to all of the components that make up this tire. Casing, the tread design, and the compound. It's a 60 TPI casing. You're gonna have a lot more durability in terms of abrasion and pinch flat protection, but it's still gonna be nice and compliant and balanced and give a more damped feeling. Max, you had something about the, the feel of it. What, what did you think about the feel? Uh, I really felt the, the tire really comfy. Um, so just sticking to, to the ground, absorbing the roots and the rocks. So I really like because uh, it's also, it's comfy in a way, so it absorbs the impact, but uh, in the other way, it's not bouncing back too much, uh, which is uh, really helpful on a, on a rough trail like this, because uh, sometimes tires absorb, but they bounce back. So you are losing the grip then on, on the next route. And this one is, uh, in my opinion, uh, a really good uh, choice for uh, this kind of trails for sure. The next piece is gonna be the compound. This actually uses the two XC compounds in the middle and the two trail compounds on the side. So if you're riding off camber terrain or cornering really hard, it's gonna hook up similarly to a trail tire, but when you are rolling, it's gonna retain that cross country efficiency. What did you think? Like, honestly. I, I like it. Yeah? I, I like it very much. At the beginning, I was scared to, to, to go really hard on the rocks, uh, on the roots and on the rocks, because I don't know the tire yet. Um, but uh, after five minutes, I, I felt really good and I want to go, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice, I like it. The third piece is the tread design. On the center tread, you have a mirror image left and right. And the reason for that is so that we have a defined paddle to be able to scramble up those technical terrain sections of the trail. Similarly, on the back side of those knobs, you have a very firm braking edge. So you have full confidence when the trail gets a bit more rowdy. And then that side channel is really the room between the center tread and the side tread. And that allows dirt to pack in against the effective edge of the tread and provide that locked in feeling, almost like an edge of a ski. It also though provides cleaning channels for all of that loose over hard debris to get out of there or maybe like light mud, things like that. This is not specifically a wet conditions tire, but it is capable in a range of conditions. Uh, it's uh, very comfortable and uh, grippy. Also on the, on the turn, you can really push the bike and just enjoy it. Looks like a great day to ride. To be safe, you should always check the air in your tires before heading out. Hi. I'm Mary, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly check and inflate your tires. You'll need some tools to get started. A pump that has a nozzle appropriate for the valve on your tire. There are two types of valves, Presta and Schrader, and most pumps feature a dual nozzle that can fit both. For this video, I will be referencing a Schrader valve style. Also, a separate gauge like this if your pump does not have one. First, check that the tire is evenly seated to the rim. Make sure to check both sides of the wheel. Look at the side wall of the tire and find the maximum recommended PSI for the tire to make sure you don't overinflate. I've used chalk on this one so you can see the numbers. Remove the dust cap on the valve. Clean any dirt from the cap and stem. Connect the pump to the valve by pressing the nozzle straight down onto the valve. You may hear a little air escape as it gets seated. Be sure it is securely placed by flipping the locking lever on the nozzle. Now you can start pumping. Apply even pressure to the handle in long, steady strokes. Use the gauge on the pump to see when you have reached the recommended PSI for the tire. If you have a separate gauge, remove the pump head and check the PSI at intervals. If you are not at the right level, then place the nozzle back on the valve and keep pumping. When you have reached the correct PSI, unlock the nozzle and remove it from the valve and replace the dust cap. Check both tires on the bike. Enjoy.